Strongest round robin start, but we have to remind everybody, we've talked about the format a little bit before. I'll talk about it again. Two, uh, one, after this set. After we're this getting set. In, right in the game to roll. That's right. Akno going to be on the Val, kind of playing, excuse me. Mako. Mako. Yeah, that's right. My old original name. <laughs> the original uh, name before you realized you're an X player. That's right. So I was really expecting this one out of Kaina. I saw a couple of character picks. picks. Kaina uh, switched off the Taros to the Yumiko as well. It looks like Kaina's having a little bit of a character crisis. As this is the first time that I think he's seen a lot of um, uh, not as much success from the Taros going into uh, this weekend. Um, usually Kaina has a very strong start with the character and sticks with it the entire time through. And now he's bringing up some pocket picks to see which one works. And starting off with the great sword of Qatar just to go up against Akno's Val here. Uh, for game number Yeah, one. quite the unconventional pick. Mako notorious for the signature kit, but uh, can be really, really scary as well just because of Mako's sheer damage stat. The amount of damage that you're able to put on it is ridiculous. But the beautiful Saito just putting Akno off stage, finding a sidelight, backing off, looking for sidelight and sig. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, not quite going to get the jump read there, but if it does connect, it's a great spike. Mako's got so many reversals there, jumping up for a spike downwards. But Val just uh, knocks you out off the top. Hits neutral sig, says, hey, this hits grounded too. It's tough, but it does hit. You know whose doesn't? Yeah, Mako, Mako yeah. yeah you, get, you get the pretty tough. animation, but really, you're just jumping right past But it. off of Katari's, especially, like, end light and sig is what you usually get against people that don't have a dodge. It's usually more optimal than going for recovery. In that case, usually, sometimes, is what I would say. And Neutral light recovery is still pretty good. It's still excellent. Yeah. That's right. And light Sig is still a little bit more stylish, though. So two stocks each, uh, kind of doing quite well. Okay, looking for the neutral leg follow-up, not able to find it quite yet. Act no mm -hmm. Nice there, nicely done. Thought he was going to go for a ground pound there, gets the nair, goes for ground pound that time around, and kind of escapes, gets the side air, evens the damage up. Now looking for another opener, but doesn't get the end light opener. Side lights are being thrown out now, but kind of can't get anything started. That is started. the safe move. It is incredibly disjointed. It lets you play back. He was trying to catch Akno's dodge options. Okay, almost able to catch the landing as well. I think the best thing to do would have been to dash in D light, but the D sig. Yeah, slide charge a little bit so that I can completely cover the wall. Got the uh, the whirlpool there in the center, and then the splash to the left is an echo blind, which didn't get the knockout. I the think kind of was the, was depending on it knocking it out. Oh, the end light, second swing of the end light, catching kind on the way back to the stage. The D light recovery, not enough to KO off the top. Act now, finding yet another one of those end six. He's been hitting those all day. Yeah, uh, excellent job. Any any Val main knows that that move is is just really good. Um, and being able to reliably knock out with it on the other corner of the stage mm -hmm. is very nice as well. Akno uh, definitely knows his stack punish options, so. Kind of kind of dropping a lot of the punishes off of, especially like you get side light and then a D light bridge. He finally is able to punish the gravity cancel option because what Akno did a few times before, especially with Sword on hand, he was trying to do like a GC side light or something. That time around though, I have no idea what he was pressing, but he got caught and he got punished. Akno now jumping around, dares over and over again. Side light and light bridge, a little bit of a clash, gets the recovery, kind of looking for a landing. So good at juggling with the axe, but does that same skill pro uh, come over to the great sword and airs? So far, looking like yes, several nairs in a row. Akno has the damage advantage though. Oh, no end light opener there. He's dropping the so many of these punishes, and it's going to be another end Reaper sig. Three? All three Light stocks, that's Light. right. Every single one of them wow. taken out with that end sig. Akno is making it work for him today. Okay, Akno goes up a game in this set against Kaina. Kaina looking a little, dis like, like distraught's not the right word. It's more like um, searching for an answer, right? It's sitting there being like, well, Mako didn't work. What am I going to do now? He was dropping a lot of the coverage that I feel like is so important with Great Sword. The way that it works is, you know, you hit a side light, you hit a D-Light bridge, and then you try to read the dodge option afterwards. He was only able to punish it once. Uh, and he found a lot of openers, which is half of the battle with Great Sword. Do you first connect one, that side light? Next, how do you punish the dodge option? He got half the battle. I want to see how he's able to follow through. Here we go. Kind of sticking with the Mako here in game number two. So we're going to see if he makes those adaptations. Side lights off the left side of the stage. Akno dipping down a little bit low on the end light. We'll catch him. Light, light down downer. Down and light as well. Could have kept going, but. You know. A bit of awkward position. He landed on the stage and Akno went off stage. The rare gauntlet drop on the side of the stage. Didn't quite get up as high as he'd like. Only got one punch in. Okay, picking up the grid sword now. Able to get the D-Light bridge. Oh my gosh, I heard the sound of the side light finisher. Uh, but unfortunately, it did not actually connect onto Akno. But air getting air. the juggles? Whoa, and that the second there just knocks out. Yeah, it was. It looked weird. It almost looked like he had hit the apex, right? He was about to fall down, then he just 
Disappeared Shout out the blast to zone. Mako. Mako knows how to KO sometimes off of straight hits. That does just happen to you. And so, kind of very good at juggling with neutral air, as we've yes. seen from countless uh, Axe Nairs uh, back in the day when he was a Taros main. I don't know what this Mako business is, but uh, it's Change. working pretty well here. Sidelight Finisher sends uh, Akno off the left side of the stage. Good dodge. So I am recovery. noticing how much Akno loves GC Sidelight with Sword as an option. He uses it all the time when he's getting combo. I mean, if you're playing Sword, I feel like I hope you're using it all the time. It's so good. He's getting you get, punished you get, you get the full distance of it in the air, and then you get a little bit of the fall uh, fall down afterwards. <sighs> but the punishes, you're right. Yeah, they're, they, if, if you're getting punished for it, at that time Whoa. you don't, but kind of almost took down his stock. Ooh. Recovery finally yes. will get it. That's going to be good. Akno going to be evening up the stock count now, but now he has a lot of damage to make up. So he's opting for the gauntlets. He wants a sidelight. He wants a new trilogy. He wants a new trilogy in society, potentially. Let's see how he's going to find that opening. It kind of gets the end light and then just <laughs> in a different zip code going through the DSIG. Oh, sidelight hits. Down light connects. Goes for the end light finisher. Oh, and he can't get it. Dashes back. Yeah, there's Last nothing stock. there. There's Little down sig. Uh, oh, I guess he just invited Akno out of the stage. Nice end light, end light finisher. That's what you do when somebody is almost always dodging after you second hit. What a lot of people like doing, they do. Just get rid of the bridge. Yes, you get rid of the bridge because they're just ready to dodge after you the second hit to avoid the finisher. Going through the immediate finisher is such a good choice. Though. Yeah, the trade off um, for those that are still trying to figure out what the heck this weapon does, right, is that um, you put a bridge in so that the finisher is more powerful. If you gravity cancel it, you go straight to a finisher, but it's not as strong as if you do the full three-piece attack. If you just do your opener and a finisher, it's in oh. between. Yes, but in the meantime, we got to talk about what is happening to Kaida off stage. Akno dealing so much damage, he finally made it back on. He gets the D-Light down and the recovery as well to be able to finish. And Akno has evened up the stock count once again. He is capable of putting out that kind of damage, but Kaida has been reading his dodges. Down light from Kaina starts off so far, so good. Another neutral light, but Akno just wakes up with a down air, punishes Kaina for waiting for a dodge, and a lot of damage coming out from Akno there, ending with the recovery. Second recovery does not connect, and Kaina's looking for the landing, but it's a lot harder to juggle with Katar Nairs than it is Greatsword Nair. And he okay. switches right over to the weapon that he wants. He's looking to catch his landing. He gets it. Side light, D light, bridge as well. The side of, he oh goes no. for the end sick, but Akno going to be taking full Falling advantage Falling off the dash, ground oh no. pound. Kind of. Goes for the side stick with the Sair, catches the mid animation, and then the side light. He made it back on. And now. disarming the weapon. Can he get this edge guard? He's controlling the stage. Neutral light into the side light bridge. Is oh. that going to be it? Not quite. Kind of, though. Huge win for Akno. So Akno's. deep off stage. Akno could not solidify the edge guard. He didn't combo the Darren Air. Mistimes it. Sidelight opener. Oh, the Gravity D cancel DSIG means no dodge. Has to fast fall the weapon. Gravity cancel D light dodges out of the way. It kind of can't find the end light opener. Goes for a jump read with a recovery. Sidelight recovery doesn't hit. Acto lets it, uh, lets it rip too late. Oh, and the that's end light. The again. Yeah, end light opener, end light finisher. Just catches him. Because like, you said he's trying to cover him dodging immediately. Yes. For the bridge. Uh, clutches game number two. Acno drops two edge guards there towards the end. But it was Kaina's game to lose, and Akno almost brought it back. So yep. they're keeping this close as we're going into game three. Kaina is beginning to show off why disadvantage against Great Sword is so terrifying. Because oftentimes, you, you're holding on to that dodge, right? You're afraid of like, oh, I don't want to get by like side light into the D-Light bridge, right? And into like the side light finish or something, so you one, dodge up. Four. And then you hold on to it, and you forget to react to the first hit. And then you get hit with something like double end light. Now, what do we have happening? We've we have decided to... that the Mako experiment is done. <laughs> He's like, yep. Yeah, I, I'd rather just have sword. He's like, if I'm going to be using great sword all the time, anyways, I might as well have Ju Neutral Sig, like the yes. best great sword signature in the game, right? Um, so many times you'll see people go for that sideline opener, and then they'll do a dash forward neutral sink, right? Oh my gosh, that was a crazy option to go for ground pound, but he did not get it, and he's there. It is. He didn't miss the dash though. <laughs> he did. He did. He needed the dash if he wanted that to work. Come on, Kaida. Oh, like that chase dodge pivot recovery. Uh, nice little mix up there. Tries to go for he's, it again. And yep. Almost had it too. In fact, if he went to the left, uh, if he did a pivot, it would have been awesome. Oh my gosh, the down is going to be able to punish the weapon toss as well. Akno just saying, hey, you have the down in my face. I'm going to take the stock and make it mine. Yeah, for those wondering what happened there, when Kaina went for the chase dodge pivot in air, when great, that nice, excellent job with that edge guard, or with that. that um, confirmation with the D-Light Neutral Zone. But when you go for a Great Sword Aerial and you land with it, it converts into your opener. So any attack that you do afterwards, you can get a bridge or a finisher. And that's why Kaina has a landing animation there with that neutral air. Kaina not being able to get too much after that. Um, but he's doing a lot of creative options off of the solid opener, but it's leading into a chase dodge instead of a dash. 
Okay, Akno, I think he wanted to go over the stage with the side of it. I don't think it was his intention to stay out there. He dodges in place as Kaina dashes back. Not able to get the punish. Okay. Kaina just continuing to try to occupy the ground. Akno committing all the way off stage for the downer. And he does not actually finish chewing his food. And six spike. Goes in for the neutral air, but doesn't pivot it. Kaina's able to come back. Tons of damage. There's the silent end sig. Gets it the spot so dodge. Coverage, but it's not enough to be able to KO quite yet. Gravity Ketzel delights. Gravity Ketzel delights, yeah. right. Immediately just going into the finisher. What's it going to be? I think it's Darren Ayers. I just got to get back to the lab for that. Ends up getting hit by a delight down in recovery. Uh, Darren Ayers is a true combo on Great Sword, one of the very few in the game. Stock is going to be, he goes for the recovery. Kinda not able to find a neutral but he finds a side of instead. Kinda keeping up such a gentle lead at the moment. Akno with what, no weapon on hand. He needs a delight. He needs an unarmed recovery, and that would take out Kinda stock. All right, waiting for a weapon. Gets the side light. Ooh, but does it jump? Need the jump for that downer to hit. Gets the recovery instead. Now even it up one to one. Akno. He's so bold committing like that against, you know, somebody. What do you we have seen that, that like, Akno's been pretty nonchalant about his offstage stuff. He went a little behind. Just kind of like, yeah, yeah I guess I'll go for it. <laughs> He's been uh, he's been pretty pretty consistent mm -hmm. with his uh, with how the risks that he likes to take regardless of the of the game state at the time. Oh, kinda catching the landing. Akno able to find a neutral. Oh, GC Delight. Okay, side nice recovery. catching the recovery. That's it. Kinda cannot make it back on, and Akno just stealing Wait, that game. Akno shaking his head a little bit, looking at somebody in the crowd, being like, "Yeah, I don't know." <laughs> he's all sheepish about it. <laughs> he's nodding, quick little smile. Uh, he's brought to match point against Kinda. He's yet to beat Kinda in bracket yes. um, to this day, at least in official tournaments. So this would be a really, really big win for Akno. This would guarantee, I think, Akno getting out in the top 10. And this would put Kaina at risk of not making it to Championship Sunday. Because this would make Kaina two and five. That's tied with Sandstorm. That Three, is not... Two. That's not good. Yeah, that's not, that's, really not, be. that's not good. There's a lot on the line here. There's a lot on the line for people that made predictions saying Sandstorm and Kaida were in top three. Because <laughs> yeah. if that's going to be the case, only one of them could even make it that far through the gauntlet. So. I want to see Kaida pull himself back in. I want to see him get back into the game, and I want to see how well Akno is able to respond. Akno is up 2-1 to one in the game count at the moment. He lands with a down. Kaida able to swing back a little bit. We're seeing a Soyu Ditto right now, catching the landing with the side light. Whiffing the end light, though. They're just exchanging hits. Ooh, and Kaina goes in for his own side light. Akno just barrels right through, side light after side light. There's the Dare Air combo good. that we've been looking for. Uh, I'm not going to knock out, but that side light finisher will. He thought that he was going to dash back. Usually, whenever he whiffs a you side, see side light, light, daylight. Yes, yeah. and so he just immediately went through the full three piece. Just in delayed case it a little back. bit. Delayed it a little bit, but you yep. still get all that power. Catches Akno unawares. You're absolutely right. And that time just lets the whole thing go. Delight, yep. end light bridge, side light finisher. Super strong string. That time around, oh, Kaina not able to get the end light to punish the whiff. Ensig, Akno tossing out his weapon, picking it back up. That was crazy. Like it snapped back to him. It was like a boomerang. Yeah, nicely done with that edge guard there. Akno being able uh, to even things up pretty nicely. Gets it by the air. Kaina now over on the great sword. Let's see what he's going to be able to do here. Lost on like opener so far. Akno. He still moves like he's Telos. Oh my gosh, that was so scary. He got his recovery swatted. Akno <laughs> almost stole that stop. Move like he's Taros being staying grounded and using arrow. Yeah, yeah. But he's not even like dashing in. He's not even like yeah. dash jumping. He is staying in place. Like that. Yeah, he's yeah, looking yeah. for the light. He doesn't find it. He's looking to catch the landing. He gets There's the side light. There's a dash back up the delay uh, bridge that you were talking about that normally he does. That time he dashes forward, goes for a silent opener, hits the falling yeah. stair, and now Akno doesn't have a weapon. Okay, Akno, how do you make it back onto the stage? Well, you dodge up past the first sidelight. He was afraid of the immediate finisher, as Kaina has established oh. before. The falling neutral, not enough to be able to take it off the top. Akno, chase dodging in, using that as the opening to pick it up. But Third Kaina. Time. Yeah, wow. very consistent with that end light opener, end light finisher. Just skipping right past the bridge, being like, okay, if I hit this, I'm just going to let this rip. Akno's not dodging in time. Um, and the angle of knockback is really excellent for that amount of damage. Just guarantee himself a knockout. And now kind of really running away with game number four on the greatsword. Chase nice dodging. chain dodge. Double yeah. chain dodging as well to get the recovery. Kind of. How do you make it back on? Akno not able to get Just dodges right past the end light. Akno, a little... Uh, 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 he, he's being a little too predictable on his edge guards here. He kind of is just running circles around him. Delight recovery will finally take off the stock. Ekno has a chance to clutch this, actually. I thought he took a lot more damage than he did. But Kaina still has the fight in him. You saw how he was playing in the first few stocks. Oh, no dodge. Down and neutralized uh -oh. side of weapon the throw. jump. Weapon toss. Uh-oh, Kaina still can't find a weapon, and that was four really good hits. Oh, the weapon Akno. spawn. Doesn't get it, though. Perfect spawn for Kaina. Picks up the gauntlet. Perfect spawn for Akno, too. 
Uh, I mean, yeah, kind of, kind of. Uh, now with that sword, landing with that down air. What else can he do? Pocket <gasps> sand doesn't hit. Do that recovery does though. Okay, Kaida just looking to control the ground, looking to call out one of these jumps. Akno committing to the side of him, but it puts him safely off stage. He is holding onto Santu stage. He is backing up and he is focusing Akno off stage. Dashing in, dashing out, Touch. connecting the end light. Weapon toss to focus the low recovery. Picks up the great sword. Ooh, he almost dodge. caught the dodge in. He looks for it again. I think it's going to be the end light finisher. Grabbing oh, cancel the light wake up. One of the few uh, reliable options Great Sword has as a wake up in the air. Yes. Um, one of, one of my favorite moves in the game in general, Gravity Cancel, Delight Finisher. Um, normally on the ground just spins in place, but when you do it in the air, you descend a little bit while the hurt box is active too. So it's a really powerful move when your opponents are at really high damage. It's just a get off me tool. And in that case, you literally got them off them into the next game. So The only other play. thing that you have is Great Sword when you're being juggled like that. I mean, recovery is too slow. You can try to mash out a neutral air. Weapon. Yeah, but uh, neutral air is kind of tiny. The beauty of Delight. Jumping air. Jumping down, oh yeah, yeah. that maybe into a neutral but again, I like the fact Three, that you pointed out two, the D-Light, it covers the most amount of space, and it is the most consistent option in that position. So, this is game Huge five. Huge brings the game number five. Akno versus Kaina. If Akno gets this, it would be his first set win over Kaina. If Kaina gets this, it makes... Um, Kaina needs this one. It, it does, it definitely makes who's going to be eliminated that much more harder to call. Uh, as we get closer and closer to the end of this round, Robin, players have been playing all day today, and they still have many more matches to go after this. Kaina versus Akno is underway. Your game five, Val versus Jayun. Okay, he's reading a lot of Akno's dodge options now. I'm seeing him get more and more acclimated to Great Sword as the set goes on. Akno landing in with the down air that was so bold. He tried to go for a side light. That was a GC side light finisher. Um, anyways, he, he comes back onto the stage with it. Yeah, Nair ends up catching that landing there. Recovery to Nair. Kind of juggling the best way that he can. Nair recovery down air. Nair finally. With kind of tightening up the Dare Nair combo tree. It's a, it's a tight combo, but it is a true combo. Um, I think that he's got this game in the bag if he can continue. Uh, getting the strings that he's already been That's so right. successful with on the great sword. Oh, again, look at his movement. It is being so tight. It's so precise. Akno, not able to get the new trilly, but he finds a side. He goes off stage briefly. He doesn't get the GC D light because he was too high up. If he was any lower, it would have connected. Uh, kind of picking up a great sword. That means next weapon coming through here is going to be sword. It's always a little unfortunate when you, like, are so damaged, you're like, yes. picking this up is going to make my neck stock harder if I don't get a crazy read. As you can see here, Kaina has to go through this, has the sword. He'll probably throw this weapon away after one D-Light side air to switch back over to the great sword because that's what he's been having the most success with. So we'll see if this could be the case here as Akno is getting a little bit more damage now that he's in the, in the sword ditto. Lands with the new trailer. Okay. No. Kaina just looking for the downer. He's just looking for any opening right now. Akno just there it is shoving right it away. away. He was like, okay, you're not near this? Great. I'm going to switch back over. And this is where I feel like the momentum can go back over to Kaina's favor. He's looking for one of those side lights. He's not able to connect it. Okay, finally, one of them comes out. The pivot end light was not able to come out, though. End light. D uh, side light as well. Excuse me. Falls with the down air. There's two so landings covered by end light. Sword picked up. D light side air. Edge guard opportunity. Side stick gets stopped by Sarah, but no, he dashes forward with that down light. Gets the side air. And now Akno has got kind of on this last stock of the set. It's game five. Last stock of the set for Kaina and Akno has, you know, he's not totally out of it quite yet, so he still needs to be able to get a lot of extra credit. Kaina almost caught his landing with the D-Light. Akno just had enough movement to be able to avoid it. He needs this KO. He needs anything. He needs a recovery off the top, but Akno is not letting it happen. And Akno gets hit by the recovery, still holding on. Kaina gets hit by the weapon throw downwards, and now Kaina... <laughs> What is he going to get started here? The sword has not been working on. Fact, okay. That's it. Good That's dodge. It That's the first time that we've really seen him punish the excessive side lights that Akno does, too. If you can bait it out, if you can bait out that side light, that is how sword players will inevitably fall. So now it is last stock of peace. It is game number five. He goes for the neutral finisher. It's not going to be able to connect. Akno holding on here, looking for the side. He doesn't connect it, and Kaina is so scary on the ground tosser. So Akno can rely on the fact that, oh, that Kaina on. will never weapon use the weapon toss. Do you like ground pound? Oh my Kaina switch back to the stage, gets a recovery into the Nair, gets reversal by the Nair, Akno picks up the sword, gets the recovery, that's he's not gonna sweating. knock out, but D-Light recovery could do it, Akno needs one more win, D-Light recovery, that gonna that's gonna be, gonna be it. it! Yes, it will! Akno getting the upset over Kaina! And he takes the game, and he takes the set, and he's able to do it, Taza. Whoa, okay, that's a huge win for Akno. Akno comes in swinging this weekend with his first set win.